Have you ever met someone that you instantly clicked with? There's opposites attract and then there's Richard Rawlings and Dennis Collins. Again, you're watching Tuna No Crust and we're here to tell you what happened to Dennis Collins, Richard Rawlings' best friend and business partner. He was a huge part in the success of Gas Monkey Garage and the popular TV show. But now that Fast and Loud will never air a new episode again, what really happened to Dennis Collins or as some fans call him, Richard Rawlings' rich friend with Justin Bieber hair? First of all, looks can be deceiving. If you Google these two men, they look almost nothing alike. Rawlings looks like the exact sort of guy that you'd expect to be into custom cars and trucks, beard, tattoos, and a penchant for beer. Meanwhile, Collins looks like the guy you see when you walk into a car dealership. Suit, nice hair, coffee, very businesslike. It almost makes you go, these two work together? But they have and are so much alike that putting on a t-shirt makes Collins look like he's one of the guys. The most quoted figure about Collins' car experience is that he's been working on cars for over 35 years. It all started when he began playing with Matchbox and Hot Wheels cars as a kid. According to his website, Collins sold his first car, a 1948 F-14 truck, at 13. The first car he drove was a blue 1966 Ford Mustang. He's shown a penchant for Mustangs ever since. But what started as a mild interest became a passion, obsession, and potential business opportunity. Collins was a smart man. Like Rawlings, he saw potential in buying, selling, and trading cars. His collection contains some of the rarest cars in the world. He quickly realized that running his own business was more effective than working for someone else. And he didn't sleep on that instinct. He put time, effort, and money into a degree in economics and finance from the University of Texas. Then he immediately put that degree to work. In 1984, he started Collins Brothers Jeep, a Jeep repair and customization shop. The shop does over 70 restorations and 200 custom Jeep builds every year. As Collins himself likes saying, people always ask me what I really do every day. Well, step into my Jeep world and I'll show you. But things get bigger and better. In 2000, Collins launched his own brand of Jeep parts and accessories known as Black Mountain. With over 15 conversion facilities in the United States and a growing number of distributors in Europe and the Middle East, you've probably heard of the brand. Despite his main business being Jeeps, Collins also loves the Nash Healey brand of American sports cars, and as we said, Mustangs. One of his favorite cars is an eye-catching Healey named Goldie, which Collins pursued until the owners retired. He has a lot of Healeys. According to Collins himself, when it got to the point where I documented owning 500 of them, I just stopped counting. There are debates over whether Collins owned and restored the first ever Nash Healey. If he did, the $500,000 it sold for at auction was a steal. That car is, in theory, priceless. The same car eventually sold for $1 million. Of all the cars Collins has bought and sold, he regrets letting that first ever Healey go the most. Collins also has an extensive Mustang collection. Collins maintains his collection so well that his cars serve as a model for aspiring collectors. All of his cars are kept in climate-controlled garages, rarely get any miles, and have all their documentation ready at a moment's notice. One thing you won't know by only watching Fast and Loud is Collins' personal life. He has a wife, Kim, and two grown-up kids. He still lives in Wiley, Texas, which is roughly a half hour north of Dallas. And if you doubted that his degree was worth it, Dennis Collins is now worth over $30 million. So how did Rawlings and Collins meet? In 1996, Collins and Rawlings both received invitations to a bike rally in Daytona, Florida. Only 11 people showed up and Rawlings and Collins were among them. The two became fast friends, collaborating on everything from a cannonball run to Rawlings' Discovery Channel shows Fast and Loud and Garage Rehab. We've done videos on Fast and Loud and Garage Rehab before, but if you missed them, here's a short summary. Fast and Loud was a show that aired on Discovery Channel from 2012 to 2020. It focused on restoring and customizing old cars that would otherwise be sent to the scrapyard. The spin-off show, Garage Rehab, aired from 2017 to 2019 and is exactly what it says on the label. 
Rawlings and friends travel around the U.S. helping failing auto garages get back on their feet. Both of these shows ran on Discovery Channel with no announcement of future seasons. If you want more information, please check their respective videos out. But if you want to see Collins in action, he's in significantly more episodes of Fast and Loud. And it can be a little hard to tell exactly what Collins does on Richard's shows. IMDb is not helpful on this front, showing the relatively few episodes Colin has been on and mostly listing Collins as playing himself. When he's on the screen, he's usually wearing his Collins Brothers Jeep shirt. But more often than not, he's helping Rollins determine the value of his cars, especially Healy's. Probably 75 grand. You are f Get back in your car and leave. Let me shut this down. <laughs> How about 80 grand? There's no way, man. All right, here's my last offer. I'm not making another one. 99-1. I'm not paying you 100. 99-1, you own it. Deal. But Collins was still prominent enough on Fast and Loud that he got his share of fan mail. During an online segment in which Collins answered the questions on Facebook and Twitter, he said that he got a lot of questions about his hair, which has no gel and was not styled after Justin Bieber. I actually don't use any hair products. And no, I didn't steal it from Justin Bieber. He stole it from me. He also listed some of his favorite cars, talked about his wife, and discussed many other offbeat questions in this 2014 YouTube video. It's a fun watch that's approximately five and a half minutes. You'll laugh at some of the questions Collins got. Does your wife wear shirts to say Dennis's wife? I've actually never thought about that. She doesn't, but she's going to in the future. That is outstanding. Both Fast and Loud and Garage Rehab are off the air, as stated in another video. Rawlings isn't keen on doing another TV show. What happened to Collins? Are he and Rawlings still friends? Or did they have an argument like many members of Gas Monkey did while on the air? The answer may surprise you. Not only are these two still friends after 20 years, but they collaborate a lot. Both Gas Monkey Garage, Richard Rawlings, and Dennis Collins have moved from Discovery Channel to YouTube. Collins' show Coffee Walk has the Jeep Man looking at rare finds from around the country, often in the middle of nowhere. The two still work together on a YouTube show called Beer Walk, which usually involves Rawlings and Collins looking at their latest finds. Don't let Collins' fancy suit, college degree, and sleek website fool you. All he has to do is change his shirt to look right at home with Richard Rawlings, albeit with a preference for coffee instead of beer. Despite not having a show on network television, not much has changed between Rawlings and Collins. Collins still turns trash into treasure. He has a YouTube channel detailing his latest finds. He also has a website with links to his book, bio, brand, and events. And if you have a classic car, you can sell it to Collins by filling out an online form. Who knows, you might get internet famous. Speaking of you, the viewer, what are your best friends like? How did you meet? Do you have any special stories about your friendships that you're willing to share? Would you be willing to do a TV show with your best friends? Would you ever want to own 500 of something that you love? Let us know in the comments below and don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring that bell to make sure that the next video doesn't pass you by. We'll see you next time. Remember, please like, tag, share, follow, and subscribe to what? Our YouTube channel. See you next week.